Good morning from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. This morning we are waking up by the beach uh, to a beautiful sunrise and we're heading out to the ferry terminal to catch the ferry to Zanzibar. So let's head out there. Thank you. It's Christopher. It's just getting warmer for every day and uh, yeah, we haven't been stopping sweating for a few days now. Um, it is important in Stone Town especially to dress modestly, cover your shoulders and knees, that is it, that it, because this island is mostly Muslim, so to respect uh, their culture and their uh, community, it is important to dress modestly. Um, but yeah, we think we're going to get some lunch now. We've just, just checked into our hotel, uh, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's quite big. We have two beds and a bathroom, uh, AC, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, but let's explore the city. So we have now stopped off to have some lunch before we're going to explore the city. We've come to a place called Africa House which has a beautiful uh, view over the sea. Um, and uh, yeah, we're digging into some uh, lunch and doing some research about Stonetown and Zanzibar before we explore the city. So let's uh, dig into some food and start exploring. So the rain arrived but thankfully we have shelter. It's a long way, way up to everything that we want But if we take a moment to get close uh, Vasco da Gama was here in 1499 and uh, in 1503 it uh, became Portuguese territory uh, And then uh, in 1698 Sultan of Oman took over the island and uh, that's why you can see all of, like Muslim influences and uh, also there's so many similarities with Gale in Sri Lanka uh, with the white buildings uh, due to the Portuguese uh, colonial times and in 1890 the island became British and in 1963 it gained independence so there's a mix of like Muslim, uh, Arabic uh, architecture and culture uh, but also a lot of Portuguese colonial influences which is very interesting uh, so yeah it's lovely to just walk around and see uh, the buildings and everything uh, so yeah Another interesting fact about this place is that Freddie Mercury actually was born here in Stone Town, uh, Zanzibar, and uh, just down the road here you can go to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can go and visit his old house, uh, and there's a museum. So yeah, and now we're stuck in the ring. <laughs> There's a chicken there. So, 
only thing we're missing though is a bit of Wi-Fi. But yeah, we're getting a bit cranky, so I think we're going to head towards the beach, check it out, and you have to show the toilet. Eat some food, but we're going to show you the toilet. <laughs> very important. And here it is, very very big. <laughs> toilet, <laughs> shower, and mirror. I always wear the same clothes. <laughs> Welcome to our bubble for the next two days. Adios. Well, they definitely have some big palm trees here. down to the beach. Uh, it's, the sun is very very strong, it's very blinding, the sand is crystal white and the sea looks really really nice. So we're going to jump in and cool off. So let's do that. Dropping like little flies. There's a price to pay to get in the things we want. But if we take a moment to get come down to the beach it's about 6 30 and uh, we're here to watch the sunset and it's so beautiful uh, and really, really nice so yeah let's watch the sunset and we have now come to dinner by the beach uh, so we're going to dig into dinner now and uh, yeah I'll say good night and I'll see you tomorrow for an early snorkel trip so good night good morning from the northern beaches of Zanzibar and this morning we are heading out on a snorkeling trip uh, to explore some of the coral reefs and hopefully some underwater wildlife so let's head out there we're heading to the boat now and this is your first time snorkeling how are you feeling? I'm so nervous. Yeah, <laughs> it will be fine. My stomach hurts. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it will be great. It looks like a lovely day to snorkel, so hoping for the best. The reef is too long from there, that boat which you see there, the boya, and up there, there, and you can't finish, okay? It's really very long, the reef, but... Okay, so we have just arrived to our first snorkeling point, and we're putting on the fins and our goggles, and then we're getting ready to jump into the water, so let's jump in. choppy and it was my first experience with sea lights. I've never heard of that before but they kind of sting you a bit. Uh, but yeah, it's so nice to be out on the boat and uh, in the water. So yeah. What's your snorkeling experience? It's pretty good. Oh, it's still good. 
so this is the perfect way to end our snorkeling trip. Uh, we are on the rooftop taking in the sun, the sea and the beautiful scenery. Uh, we're heading back to the mainland of Sansibar now, uh, hopefully in time for lunch. So yeah, we'll meet you when we get back there. So it is currently 7.30 and it's our final night here on Sansibar. Uh, and it's also our final night with a big portion of the group, uh, which is really sad. It's going to be very hard to say goodbye to these wonderful people that we've met. Um, tomorrow is the start of the next leg of our trip. Uh, but first we're going to have this farewell dinner together with the group. And yeah, I'm going to show you it, but I'm going to see... Uh, I'm going to end the video here and uh, yeah, I'll show you the dinner. Good night and I'll see you next time.